Hey everyone, welcome to my Alpaca series on API trading in Python. In case you don't know, Alpaca is a free platform that allows you to write trading algos and trade stocks in a variety of different languages, and today I'll be using it in Python. So I'm just on the Alpaca paper trading dashboard, and on the right side of the screen you can see the API keys. So within this panel we can actually generate API keys, which we can then use for trading with Alpaca. So I'll just go ahead and copy those to my clipboard. And make sure that you copy these the first time that they appear because they do disappear once you leave this page or refresh. And I'll head over into Python and create a new file. And I'm just gonna write out the key that I just copied as a variable called key. And then I'll make another one called sec for secret. And I'll copy that secret key back into the file. So with those two variables in, we can go back up to the top of the file and import the Alpaca library. So one prerequisite for this tutorial is that you have the Alpaca Trade API library installed. And in the blog post or in the description, I'll include the pip command for this. It is available on PyPy, so pretty straightforward to install that. I'll also import the time module. We'll just be using this for adding delays so that we aren't hitting the rate limit on the API. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do is add a URL. This is just a string variable which will contain the endpoint that we'll hit for the paper trading. Now, if you were doing production, you would remove the paper dash and it would just be the um, API alpaca.markets. So this can be acquired from the documentation on Alpaca um, or from the source code from this. Just remember that if you actually wanna try it with real money, not in paper, then remove that endpoint and replace it with the production one. And I'll go ahead and save this and so once this file is saved, we can go ahead and start calling the actual API. And remember at the top of the file, we imported it as trade API. So when we're calling it, we'll just do trade API dot REST, which is a REST API call. And this will allow us to pass in several variables such as key, SEC, URL, and version. The API version is especially important when you're watching this video, there may be a more updated version. I would double check with the documentation and make sure that it is the correct V2. If you're looking at V3 documentation and trying to use V2 code, it's just gonna be a bad time. So double check that before you continue. I assume by 2021, they should have an updated version. The next thing I'm gonna do is create an account variable. And what this will do is use the API object we just instantiated and it will call the get account. So this puts our get account into the account variable. And the next thing we'll do is actually print out this variable and so we can see what it contains. Yep, so just print out account and then we'll run that and it should give us some information. So you can see the status of the account, how much cash we have in the paper account, things like that. And one important thing is status active. So if you see on your account, if it says status inactive, usually means you haven't configured the API properly or something else is awry. And I think that's a pretty good place to end part one for this Alpaca series. Make sure that you guys subscribe for more videos, leave a like if you liked it, and go follow me on Code Mentor. That's one of my primary platforms. I'll be doing uh, several Alpaca videos in the future, as well as maybe some live streams of myself coding on Alpaca and trading in the real stock market. I have several trading algos that I've 